presentation and let's continue with the lectures. Uh, next presentation uh, deal with strengthening of structures in practice and will be given by Mateusz Bergan. Mateusz Bergan is the director of the company Grass. Grass is a company for the implementation of construction and rehabilitation works and executive engineering. They have more than 60 years of national and international experience. They're engaged in the rehabilitation of public buildings, cultural heritage, sacral buildings, bridges, and industrial buildings. They had an important role in post-earthquake rehabilitation in Slovenia. As an introduction to lecture, a video of the Kosocio region as a seismic vulnerable and opposite to the Ljubljana sparsely populated area. The greatest natural wealth of this region is River Socha, which is known for its emerald green color. The Posocha region has been affected by the last two major earthquakes in Slovenia in 1998 and 2004. The most important structures that have been damaged and reconstructed during the earthquakes are highlighted. Thanks again, Andras Krivitz, for producing this video. Petra, please share with us the video of Posoce. Mateusz Bergan to share their experience with us. Mateusz, the floor is yours. Can you hear me? Yes, Mateusz, we can hear you and we see your presentation. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Christine, uh, and uh, greetings to all uh, participants. participants. Uh, in the beginning, I must tell that uh, I'm not uh, 
I'm quite good at, in English, but not uh, perfect. So uh, please uh, uh, listen to me with uh, not with, uh, with with the patience, and you can correct me every time, uh, every second time when I make mistake. So. Uh, it, Introduction was made by uh, Maya or Peter, I don't remember. Thank you for your uh, presentation uh, of our company. Uh, National Building Institute and uh, uh, my company have the same roots. Uh, they, uh, they were born from uh, the same institution, uh, uh, made, uh, I think it was established in 1948 uh, by uh, government of Slovenia after uh, the Second World War. Uh, later we separated, but we are still quite good in cooperation. Uh, so we are, I am glad that I was invited to share with you some uh, experience practice in Practic, uh, uh, experience in uh, solutions uh, of uh, old buildings in uh, our country. Uh, at the beginning, just a second. I must see the text on my right side, you know, uh, to remember. Uh, so, uh, I told you already about uh, our company. We are uh, main, uh, mainly we are mainly working in the field of reinforcing and uh, old buildings and also uh, new buildings of concrete and masonry. Uh, we have experiences for almost uh, 50 years uh, and we made, uh, we established uh, a lot of um, procedures of reinforcing uh, in the time when we were together with uh, people from uh, ZAC. Here you can read some. Uh, data on the right side. Uh, yes, uh, about pictures, uh, here you can see Piran city walls, uh, which were reinforced by grouting, and uh, the other picture is in uh, uh, is a building in uh, Luca Copper, Port Copper, uh, warehouse which was uh, damaged by by um, um, wrong foundations, there, there, are prob there were problems with the soil and uh, that represented on uh, RC structure, which we reinforced with, uh, with um, carbon uh, fiber uh, meshes and uh, uh, strips. Okay, the next one. So, uh, as we, as I said before, uh, we started uh, these um, procedures, uh, uh, earthquake ties uh, on buildings, uh, uh, injection, uh, grouting, and reinforcing by external bonded uh, elements uh, already in sixties and seventies, and. Uh, after uh, Bardo earthquake, Italian earthquake in 1976, uh, former uh, Yugoslav government sent group from Slovenia, from uh, uh, Zara Maka or Zak today, and, um, and workers of, uh, which were in uh, my company to uh, repair two buildings in Bardo. That was after the uh, first earthquake uh, in the spring. And later, in uh, half year later, the, uh, the second also strong 
earthquake hit uh, uh, Italy and Slovenia, and those two buildings were uh, almost undamaged uh, <clears throat> uh, during that second earthquake. So Italian state uh, put these procedures in their uh, technical uh, regulation. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, the first uh, picture is from Bardo, as you, as you can see. And the second is uh, first application of uh, reinforcing with ex external bond. It's uh, steel plates uh, already made uh, uh, six year, only six years after first application in Swiss, which was uh, also first application in the world. Uh, so, um, a big, uh, um, I can say, um, large uh, part of our business is also um, solutions uh, for uh, moist in uh, the walls. Moist is coming from the ground, as you know, and it can damage uh, especially brick walls. So uh, it, uh, procedure was developed in uh, former Zermaka, uh, so-called uh, chemical uh, barrier. Uh, we put um, uh, liquid, uh, liquid uh, silan, uh, silan liquid inside the walls, and we stopped capillary uh, uh, transportations of, of the water. On the, uh, for, um, um, uh, from the ground, uh, from foundation to the walls. Here you have two pictures. One application was made in Venice uh, many years ago. And they said it's still, uh, everything is still okay. The second one is uh, Kempinski Hotel in Port Porto Rosse, Porto Roche, um, uh, on the coast. Uh, which was also um, treated with that procedure. Okay, so now something about uh, re um, repairing concrete, uh, reinforced concrete constructions. Uh, I know some of you are experts in that area, so I will not be, I will not talk much about that because. Uh, um, her heritage buildings are mostly uh, not from concrete, but from stone and uh, wood and um, uh, bricks. But we also, uh, our, uh, as I said, uh, the, perhaps half of our businesses in industry were these uh, problems are most common. You can see uh, damage on uh, bridge in Ljubljana over uh, Grubar Channel. And the second uh, is from uh, Jesenice uh, city, where a big market was formed, uh, I think, seven years ago. And we were uh, repairing uh, a very damaged uh, roof uh, structure. Uh, again, this is bridge or uh, Gruber Canal. Uh, some steps in uh, repairing are shown. Uh, as, as you know, uh, reinforcement inside of uh, RC structures uh, can uh, deteriorate uh, when water is near or uh, air is near. Uh, so uh, if uh, there is not enough concrete uh, on, <clears throat> on the surface of the construction, these corrosion processes can uh, do a lot of uh, harm to the construction. Uh, here you can see a new bridge after reparation on the right upper corner. Um, 
uh, on the left, uh, it is uh, shown where reinforcement was, and we made some uh, surface protection. And uh, <clears throat> uh, on the right down corner, uh, there is uh, um, it is shown a procedure of uh, restoration uh, with uh, repair mortars. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we are, uh, we will talk about uh, reinforcement of RC structures. As I told you before, uh, one of the procedures is uh, putting, gluing additional reinforcement on the surface of the uh, structures. Uh, the, there are also other procedures, so we can make, for instance, slabs uh, uh, thicker with additional layer of concrete and reinforcement. Uh, we can do uh, external uh, tangible processes. This is not very popular now because uh, it is made with um, cables which are <clears throat> which are um, not good for external use. I hope I, you understand what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> uh, so uh, here uh, on the picture on the bottom, uh, it is shown how we can uh, even manage with uh, negative uh, bending moments when, are too, when they are too high. This is one, uh, this is a picture from our biggest uh, shopping mall in Ljubljana, which was uh, reconstructed uh, three years ago. And uh, our company was uh, there to do works on uh, reinforcement. Okay, this is again uh, the first uh, the first application. In that time, application of external bond its uh, reinforcement. In that time, at the end of seventies and beginning of eighties, there were there were no uh, materials from uh, carbon, of course. So we were using steel plates and uh, to do that. Uh, here you can see uh, down there is a bridge which was uh, reinforced um, uh, in Switzerland in 1991, as I said, and we did uh, we did our first application uh, on the left side. You can see in Shoshtan uh, plant uh, only seven eight years. Uh, Later and, and also there is analogy analogy uh, with that uh, application of steel elements uh, on upper uh, pictures. This method is very useful. Uh, you can um, you can uh, deal with any uh, kind of stresses. Not not. Also, not only bending, also shear uh, problems. And, and here we have one example where uh, on the um, main building of the Slovenian steel group uh, was, uh, was uh, quite in the bad condition, as you can see. So there was no stirrups in, in uh, columns on the facades. And uh, we uh, told them they should do something about that, they, and they accepted. So we put uh, carbon mesh on the columns, and uh, building is still standing. OK, this uh, here you can see some history uh, before. Uh, carbon reinforcement was invented. Uh, we were using uh, steel elements. 
uh, and also uh, chemists in uh, our former company um, in, uh, invented epoxy glue and mortar. Uh, so because they were, sick, for instance, Sika Corporation was not present in. Uh, uh, on our market, and we did uh, we did it ourselves, and that uh, uh, mortar or or glue uh, uh, was very very good and quite similar as um, uh, epoxy mortars that that came later to our market. Uh, So uh, that problem, as you know, as, as you perhaps know, reinforcement uh, uh, on the uh, external reinforcement is uh, sensitive for, uh, on high temperatures because of uh, epoxy, uh, epoxy uh, glue or mortar uh, became uh, soft when temperatures uh, Reaches 70, 80 uh, <clears throat> uh, Celsius uh, grade, and uh, sometimes uh, protection from the fire and heat is needed. But this is very ex expensive solution, so uh, we are not uh, practicing this a lot. Okay, at the end, perhaps uh, from that field, uh, with external RP uh, elements, you can also reinforce uh, wood and uh, masonry buildings. Uh, uh, on up, upper uh, upper pictures, you can see a wooden uh, roof, wooden ceiling. <coughs> Uh, in a school near Ljubljana, which was reinforced with um, a mesh uh, with fabric uh, from uh, carbon uh, fibers. And the second uh, picture shows you how to reinforce uh, arches or walls with uh, epoxy material, uh, carbon epoxy material. Uh, I, can, I must say in, in that uh, moment that uh, in the uh, last period we didn't use uh, uh, epoxy glued uh, elements in um, uh, masonry because uh, many investigations showed that uh, bonding is the problem. Uh, you can bond these elements on uh, concrete. Uh, if you bond them on uh, brick and mortar, uh, it, it is uh, quite um, uh, sure that they will uh, be separated in, uh, in case of high, um, um, high stresses, for instance, during earthquake, uh, and uh, thank God they uh, invented uh, materials which are not uh, as much uh, sensitive on that matter. Okay, now some uh, words about uh, mercenary buildings, which are our second uh, field of work. Uh, here we can see um, School, Valdor School in Ljubljana, which was <coughs> reinforced by uh, cement grouting because they are planning to make uh, another floor. And uh, one of my colleagues, uh, engineers, uh, uh, which was uh, involved, uh, suggested them that uh, this is possible if uh, stone walls will be uh, reinforced by <clears throat> grouting and this is around 200 years old building and uh, we did uh, we did injection in all 
uh, the floor sand, everything is under control. The second building is uh, uh, lodged in Ancona. Uh, this is Alpen Cottage uh, in, uh, I think it's 1600 meter under the sea level. Uh, thank God they, uh, there is, uh, there is, uh, they are connected with the valley. So transportation was not a problem. And we did that uh, uh, in the, um, I think around 10 years ago, also with grouting and uh, uh, steel ties on uh, facade uh, walls. <clears throat> Here is another example, uh, Skopjeloka Castle. Skopjeloka is uh, northwest from Ljubljana, uh, one of the oldest towns in Slovenia. Uh, they have beautiful castle, which was uh, renovated in a few phases. This is one of them. Uh, uh, as you can see, we were uh, uh, doing injection, grout injection of the walls. Uh, and uh, yeah, as, as Mariana said before, uh, most of these buildings are, were built after uh, 1511 Idria uh, uh, earthquake, also that castle. Uh, we practi practically don't have uh, masonry buildings older than that. Uh, only remains of them, of some, for instance, uh, Blade Castle, which is from 10th uh, century. Uh, but most uh, castles were destroyed, and churches, uh, Gothic churches, were destroyed in 1511. And uh, so today, uh, uh, so today we have mo mostly four or five hundred years old masonry uh, buildings. Uh, here you can see, perhaps it's nothing new for you, uh, uh, common walls in Slovenia are made of three layers, uh, outside layer and uh, inside, uh, two, outside two layers and one inside, which is very, uh, not hollow, but uh, I don't know how it is called. Help Petra, holes in the walls. Hello. Petra? Yes, excuse me. <laughs> uh, can you repeat? Okay. How can I say there, there is a lot of air and uh, cavities inside the walls? Um, a lot of yeah. holes. A lot of holes. Yeah. yeah. And that, yeah. Is, that is a big problem because during earthquake, uh, these three layers uh, are uh, often separated and the building, wall or whole building can collapse. So by injection of uh, cement grout inside, we do we made uh, uh, we are making that these three uh, layers uh, are glued together and uh, act as uh, one layer. Here you can see two examples. Uh, uh, upper picture shows uh, uh, restoration of the wall in Ljubljana Castle. Which was, which was shown before, and one uh, shows the routing of the uh, walls, uh, stone walls in Novo Mesto. So we are using uh, uh, grouts mostly from uh, cement, but also uh, grouts from lime and or combined. Uh, combined grout, cement, and lime. Uh, on old buildings, uh, which are um, which are under uh, 
um, under uh, supervision of the state, which are protected. We mostly use uh, lime uh, grounds uh, because uh, that is their wish. Um, uh, this um, so when we when we do that uh, reinforcement uh, 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 characteristic of the material of the uh, wall are not increased so high uh, so as with uh, cement grout, but it is also effective. Uh, so it uh, um, grouting with lime materials can <coughs> also um, uh, help to that building will be safer uh, in the case of earthquake. The other uh, application uh, procedure, which is very useful and uh, effective uh, by uh, restoration of old uh, masonry buildings is uh, putting uh, steel ties around uh, floors in it. Uh, so uh, walls are connected and they work together during the earthquake moving. Here you have one uh, sketch which shows how uh, we put those ties, uh, steel ties, uh, it is uh, ties are made of uh, round uh, steel bars, uh, diameter from 20 millimeters to 30 millimeters. Uh, which are uh, on the corners uh, put in the uh, uh, fixed on the steel plates. And uh, of course, we uh, must uh, do uh, to, if you want them uh, to um, function, we must put force uh, uh, in, inside them by. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, English words. We, we uh, still uh, bars are uh, must, must be uh, intention uh, intention uh, state uh, to work. Uh, so here we have one of our famous castles, uh, uh, which was um, repaired, uh, reinforced with steel ties. Uh, Snežnik Castle in uh, South Slovenia. The, uh, okay. Uh, steel ties can also be used to um, to make uh, uh, arches and walls uh, uh, function during the earthquake. So these ties are put uh, uh, through the walls and through the columns, uh, and uh, must be activated uh, to, to have force inside. Uh, and they, uh, uh, here you can see cathedral in copper, uh, where uh, one of the facade walls was uh, in very bad uh, condition. Uh, it was moving. Uh, and uh, it, uh, they were feared that it will collapse. So we, we did those ties uh, from uh, steel bars of 30 millimeters. Uh, and we, uh, we caught uh, a force uh, from walls, which was uh, causing that the uh, formation of the facade wall. And down, picture down there, uh, also show, uh, shows uh, Snežnik Castle, uh, where this uh, diagonal uh, bars were put it uh, because uh, the old, uh, old uh, ceilings from the wood uh, were not removed, but they uh, were uh, 
instead of the made uh, air sea slabs, uh, the, uh, these were protected, protected ceilings and uh, reinforcement uh, was made like uh, it is shown by the picture. Okay, one of the if uh, one of the procedures which we also uh, used sometimes is reinforcing of uh, wooden wooden construct uh, wooden uh, ceiling constructions with additional layer of uh, concrete. Uh, I call that composite ceiling because wood is. Uh, then uh, tensile element and uh, uh, additional slab on the top is uh, uh, in uh, tension. Uh, and this uh, procedure is quite useful uh, because many, uh, many people, many investors wanted to uh, that their old, old, old uh, wooden uh, ceilings are not removed. Uh, here is one example. Uh, Mariano was already talking, ab uh, talking about uh, that uh, reinforcement of uh, uh, brick or, uh, or stone walls <coughs> can be made by additional uh, layer of plaster from uh, cement or uh, any, other, any other material. Uh, here you have example of old fashioned system, um, steel, steel uh, bars and uh, cement mortar. And also of course uh, anchors must be used be, uh, to uh, so separation between uh, basic wall and uh, that new layer is not possible. The problem of that system is that uh, electrical and uh, plan, electrical installation, planning and uh, so on must be hidden under this uh, additional layer and it is not, it is quite uh, unreachable after that. And now also uh, uh, one, this is quite new procedure. Uh, my uh, ladies before me uh, were already told you about uh, that. Uh, I think this is, uh, this is what was, um, uh, were uh, procedures made for Petra's uh, doctor thesis. Uh, so building one to one was uh, uh, established in laboratory of Zach and uh, my uh, masons, masons made that plaster from a new uh, material uh, from uh, low strength and high ductility mortar, which is produced by uh, Sika company or Mapei company. And it is reinforced uh, with uh, glass uh, mesh and uh, fixed with uh, anchors from, uh, from um, carbon uh, from carbon fibers. This was uh, tested, uh, this test took place in uh, 2016. And uh, results were sh results were shown before in um, I think by Mariana. So that procedure we are using uh, uh, often in the last few years. Uh, uh, here we ha you have one example. This is the church in Posochi region, uh, which was damaged by earthquake in two thousand and four. And we suggest uh, our, uh, our uh, company uh, to the state. State is, is, uh, is, uh, um, 
is the source of the money for uh, reconstruction of Kosocia. We did that su suggestion that we can uh, reinforce the church with uh, that kind of system, which was represented before, with uh, uh, high ductility, low strength mortar, with reinforcement and anchoring. Here you can see a plan of uh, the facade, facade, one of the facades, and the yellow is that uh, tie from uh, the mortar. We did uh, uh, very regular um, um, uh, how can I say anchoring in the corners, as you can see in uh, and uh, these, uh, these elements were very dense on the facade. So we, uh, I think we, with that, we can stop from, uh, from uh, uh, we can stop, we can delete possibility that that layer will be separated from the wall in the case of earthquake. So here you can see application on site. Uh, these are uh, uh, those uh, ropes, ropes from uh, made of uh, made of um, carbon fibers. Uh, this is the view of the inside of the church and uh, up on the left uh, application of the mortar. Uh, in that area. Here you can see application from the last year. I, uh, we made uh, two movies uh, with uh, where all the um, all the steps uh, are represent, represented. So I will click now. This is Casina Palace in the center of Ljubljana about 200 years old and uh, uh, as we speak uh, a great uh, uh, restoration of the building is, took, is taking place and one of the uh, one of the um, uh, step steps to reinforce building was that now see watch and So first, the old plaster was removed. After that, uh, we put primer. This is preparation of the mortar. It is mopay material. Thank you. 
And uh, the next stage. These are anchors for uh, binding the elements. Okay, it was quite long, but it was worth to watch. Uh, also, that uh, <clears throat> system is uh, uh, quite uh, good and suitable for application like this. Uh, World support consolidation uh, in Lantieri mentioning the power, for instance. Uh, and I think that this is everything I prepared for today. Thank you very much for uh, listening to me and stay curious and healthy. 
And I'm sorry, I was perhaps uh, a little too, too long, but you won't see me for a while. Thank you. Thank you too. Your English was quite perfect. Oh, thank you, thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you, Mateus, Mateus, that you're sharing your uh, really rich experience uh, with us. Uh, so, 